Oh, winter's back, my friends, and it's coming in form of lake effect snow, northwest wind belt lake effect snow. You got it spreading across areas of upper Michigan and the intensity of heavy snowfall felt near the Lake Superior shore. It's much lighter. It's a light occasional moderate the farther south you go. Some of these bands extending down towards the south central UP into the northern Menominee County, but we focus over to the eastern UP where, yeah, Christmas, Alger County, you go east of Onoda, you say, oh no, on the M28 because some of the snow is falling heavy and I'm showing you the interactive radar. We get a little bit of the precipitation rate. How much is it falling? Most of this is precipitation in the form of liquid, 0.08 eight inches per hour. But if you times it by 20, that's the liquid to snow ratio that I'm thinking that averaged this time of the evening. There could be a snowfall rate of half an inch to an inch per hour. So some of that coating the roads rather quickly, even after our plows take care of business. You want to take an update or look at an update to see what MDOT is doing and Michigan.gov forward slash drive. Of course, we got the TV6 weather app to help you as well. Moderate to heavy snow through the weekend. Gradual breaking ahead of stops and poor visibility thanks to that blowing snow around the areas, especially near Lake Superior. We got winter weather advisories. They'll kick up 7 p.m. tonight across Alger County, Chippewa, Loose and Schoolcraft going on until Saturday morning. And then the winter weather advisory for the early morning hours of Friday for the Copper Country, the western UP, that is, Barraga, Gogebic, Houghton, Keweenaw, Ontonagon counties, they all carry over into Saturday morning. The hazards to watch out for is definitely moderate to heavy bands of snow. The heavy bursts could produce snow totally that could get around 10 inches for some areas by Saturday morning. And then you couple that with the wind factor, 30 miles per hour, even 40 miles per hour. Can't rule that out near Lake Superior. That could lead to some areas of whiteouts if you're traveling near the big lake. We're going to be cold tomorrow. Temperature highs ranging from the teens to the lower 20s. Future radar and temperature, we're showing that lake effect continues tonight. It's going to be moderate to heavy in intensity over the eastern half of upper Michigan, lighter out west. But as we get into the morning hours, the lake effect machine kicks back up across the western UP as temperatures fall. Morning temperatures could drop down to the teens out west. Some areas along the western interior could fall to the single numbers and holding around 20 degrees to start over the eastern counties for Friday morning. We get into Friday afternoon, only getting colder from there. Staying cold when it should be warming up. Temperatures holding in the teens out west, around 20 degrees over the eastern UP. You get that colder air mixing in, and the lake effect snow machine ramps up. Moderate to heavy over the northern half, lighter and even fewer the farther south you go. That's where we're, you're, you're going to be dodging some of the snow. We get into Saturday morning, your lows could drop to the single numbers, and it's going to be more lake effect snow across the west wind belts. West wind belts will be impacted. Areas of the Copper Country, areas like Whitefish Point and Grand Marais, and if you're crossing the Straits of Mackinac, northern lower, you could experience some impacting snow as well. TV6 extended forecast. The lake effect continues on until it starts to dry up. Later Sunday, it's going to be blustery, windy, for these next several days there. And Grace, I know you were asking about this. It's going to feel like spring early next week. Get some high temperatures around 40 degrees, some sunshine, but then it comes back to winter later next week. So it's going to be up and down. It does feel like spring, but you know what? Winter says, I'm not done yet. I know we got to have winter this time of year, but I'm happy for little breaks of warmth here. Yeah, there. yeah, it's fine. We just need stuff to really kick up for, you know, like our events, like a yes. festival of a sled dog tomorrow. Absolutely. Mm. Thank you, Noel. Mm.